Hey everyone, so today I'm doing a very exciting video. In this video, I'm gonna be doing another I spent blank on blank website. I've done two of these in the past. I've done one for Zaffle and one for Romwe. And in each video, I ask you guys what you wanna see next. And a couple of you guys said Rose Gal, so that's what we're doing in today's video. So Rose Gal is an online brand with some pretty insane prices. Like everything is super, super inexpensive and all the pictures look super cute and like so good looking. So basically we're gonna see if some of their products are catfish products or if they're good, how the quality is. I'm gonna let you guys know because I spent around $300 on their website. So we got quite a bit of stuff to try. So I'm super excited. Quickly, you guys might see I have a bit of a different background today. You may notice that's new. This little desk is new. That computer is not usually there. I am currently redoing the room that I film in just to make it a little bit more pleasing to you guys because I know I've been filming with just like a blank white wall and I wanted to kind of like spruce it up a bit. So this is the beginning. Hopefully it'll start looking even better in the future, honestly, I kind of like the way it looks. I don't know, what do you guys think? But anyway, back on topic. So Rose Gal, I ordered $300 worth of stuff and I will admit the shipping did take over three weeks. And I think why it did this is because I ordered it like a little bit like around the Christmas season sort of, like it was like the first week of uh, December. And I got an email kind of like a couple days before Christmas and it said like this busy Christmas season your shipment might be late and all this stuff. So I think that that might have jeopardized it a bit. I can't say though because I've never ordered from them other than that. So yeah. So I have this big box full of stuff. I can't wait to I can't wait to try it all on. So let's get into trying on all these clothes. Okay, so I have the box of clothes right here, so I'm just gonna set it on my desk over here, and then we're gonna pick one by one and try it on and see how it goes. Okay, let's start. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna try on is this. I actually don't really remember much, <laughs> many of the things I bought. They are these pants that are like lace up, but they don't have laces in them because they're in the bag. Here are the pants. It's gonna take a hot minute to lace up, but I think I'm gonna put them on first and then lace them up. I feel like that might be easier. So let me just put these on. Here's what these look like right now. Now we have to lace them up. Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna cut this till I have them laced up because I think it might actually take me like 20 minutes. So I'll be right back. Oh my gosh, okay, I'm back. That genuinely took me, for sure, not lying, that took me 20 minutes. Okay, so here they are, they're all done up. Okay, so first things first, I ordered everything in like a size small, so these fit me really well. Usually there's like a bit of gapping at the back of most pants, but this is good. I will say one thing about these pants though, they are pretty short, like here. Let me just stand on this stool. Here are the pants. So as you guys can see, they are definitely cropped pants. They're like those little angle pants, so be sure to be aware of that. I think that like I could dress this up to be pretty like cute and edgy. I don't know, I think this is kind of fun. I have nothing like these. I don't know, I feel like a new person. Okay, on to the next thing. Okay, the next thing I have to show is a hat and it was $4.77. And this hat is kind of a acid wash look to me, like it looks worn. Now I am very picky with my beak size, because as you guys know, I don't like a long beak. I think I just don't look good in hats. Like, I don't feel like it's the hat's fault. I feel like that's my fault, so. Okay, so the next things I wanna try on are these two dresses. They're the same style. They were both $13.99, but one's in black, one's in gray. Okay, and this is kind of like an off-the-shoulder dress, and it's supposed to be kind of like tight. Okay, this actually feels really soft, like, I would not have thought this was so inexpensive. Yeah, and it kind of smells like black licorice, so. <laughs> yeah, the black one is just as soft. Oh my goodness, I'm excited. I hope these fit me good. Okay, so here is that dress on. Oh my goodness, I'm actually like impressed. I like it. I really love these necklines that are kind of like roughly and off the shoulder. I think this would look really cute with a jean jacket over it. And it goes like a good length, like it's not too short. It like goes past my fingertips. I'm guessing the gray one will fit the same, but we can't assume, so let's try it on too. Okay, so here is the gray one on. Same idea, lighter colors obviously embellish more of your like, like if you have a gut, it's gonna show it a bit more, whereas black hides it, obviously. 
but it is cute. The arms are a little baggy on me, but I kind of don't mind it. It's better than it being too tight. But okay, next item. Okay, so I have two swimsuits that are like the exact same color. Uh, okay, let me just open it up. Okay, so here is a two-piece. So here are the bottoms. Okay, this is actually such good material. What the heck? Like this feels like high quality, like high quality, not just like skimming quality, like good quality. And here's the top. And this one was $13. And then this one, which is a one piece, was $19. Let's see. Once again, really good quality. They both are like made out of the same fabric, I think. So here is this one. So it just goes on like this. And it's a one piece with a little cutout. Oh my gosh, this is so nice. What the heck? Like they are very similar, but uh, I must have been feeling this type of swimsuit. I love it. Okay, next. Okay, the next thing I have to try on are these pants. And these are very loud, but they were only $7. So let's see. I wish so hard that you guys could feel how soft this is. This is, feels like like a newborn like horse or something, like really soft. Oh my goodness, like alpaca. Alpaca soft. I'm also gonna try on this black shirt. I don't think these two will go together, but I have to have a shirt on. So let's just put this one on. This one had a really cute like build to it and it was $17.99 and it's wrapped in cardboard. So it's got like bell sleeves and it ties up. Okay, this is actually gonna be really, I bought this thinking that it would look good with just like jeans. So let's try those on. Okay, so here are those pieces on. No, they do not look good together. That is obvious, okay. But here is the shirt. So it's basically just like a really low cut shirt and then you tie it up, like there's little strings and a bow. It's a bell sleeve. This is actually so cute. Okay, picture this. This shirt with just like dark wash denim jeans and then like some little like pointed toe heels and a necklace, like, I don't know. The pants, so these pants are so soft. So soft, I'm definitely gonna wear these. With like a white crop top, this would be pretty fun. And then they just go into like a bell bottom. Okay, so I have two necklaces. Both were like $2 and something, so really inexpensive. Let's take a look. This one looks kind of like a mess in the packaging, so hopefully, oh no, we're good. Oh good, they're all together. I really appreciate that, because I like layering necklaces, but like I don't want to have them tangling up and stuff. I don't know, You you know what I mean. Ooh, okay, let me try it on. They go pretty low, but I think it's nice. This one I think was like a heart. I'm surprised in that bag, it wasn't like all mixed up, but there we go. Here are both those necklaces on. They're really dainty, so hopefully you can see it okay. It's a little heart. This one's like a choker. They're actually so cute. I might just keep it on for the rest of the video. Okay, so next thing is this blue dress, and the picture of this dress reminded me of like Selena Gomez's red dress, so. <laughs> Here it is. It's a little bit wrinkly. It's been rolled up, but okay. Okay, so here is that blue dress on. Honestly, I'm not in love with this. And I think the reason I'm not in love with it is because it's going low and I feel like I could probably fix that pretty simply. I did get this in a small, so maybe it runs a little big, but I like the idea of it. I just don't think that the size is doing much for me. And you can bet, that I'm going to sew this to fit because I actually think this is really cute. Like I'm kind of sad that it doesn't fit me. And I do like the top, but I would have to shorten these. So it's just the wrong size, it's a little bit big. Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna try are these black track pants. And, uh, okay, hopefully these fit me. They look a little bit big, but let's try them on. Okay, so here are those pants on. As you guys can see, they are too big, unless they're supposed to be like baggy like this. I was expecting them to be a little bit skin tight. And with this fabric, it's kind of like elastic-y, so you'd think it would be skin tight, but it's kind of just gapping and baggy. It does kind of look like when people are like playing soccer and they put those like track pants over it. So maybe that's what it was supposed to be and I just didn't understand. Next thing I have is this little navy blue jacket and I actually don't remember buying this, but I just checked and it was $18, so it was on my order. Wow, I don't usually wear color, but like, hello. Oh, okay, this is a nice jacket. I wonder how I would style this, like it's so bright. Feels good though. Oh, whoops, okay, I actually did have one more shirt and this is like a pullover and it was $12. Oh. 
Oh my gosh. This is the softest thing I've ever felt in my life. When I was looking at the ad, it looked really soft, so I was like pulled in. And now feeling it, oh, I love it. Okay, so catch me wearing this every day of my life. Okay, so this is my favorite item. So if you're gonna get something from this brand, I suggest this piece. Next piece is some track pants. Now, one of you gave me the idea to like wear the track pants I got in the last video with like those thick fishnet leggings and that is such a good idea so maybe we could do it with this too these were $17 and they kind of feel like a windbreaker material so let's see I know in Zoe 101 they never like wore these but like this feels like I'm in Zoe 101 I don't really know why these are actually so freaking fun like if I was wearing like a tube top and then those like knit those like fishnets it's a look last two things are swimsuits the pink one was $13 and the black one was $11. The reason why I ordered a bunch of swimsuits is because I was going to Hawaii, but then I didn't get the order in time, so it was kind of a waste, but I have them now. Here are the bottoms. Okay, these feel like, basically how I gauge a swimsuit is if it looks like the picture and feels good, because it can look like the picture and feel like paper. So this feels good. And I like these because it's got like cute little shoulders. Next is just a black one. These bottoms are a little cheeky for me. And this top is nice. It's got like, just like, oh yeah, that's nice. Oh yes, it's a look, it's a look. <sighs> okay, had to get my sweater back on because I love this thing. I'm literally going to sleep in it. I'm going to shop in it. I'm going to edit in it. I'm going to... I don't know. That's it, I guess. That's my life, so. <laughs> okay, so that is everything I got off Rose Gal. I'm honestly very impressed. I'm always a little bit scared when I buy off a new website that sells really inexpensive things because there always is a chance that it's gonna be a scam. But in this case, we're lucky. There is a video coming out soon that I actually think might be a scam. I'm still waiting for it in the mail, but like fingers crossed, sorry. I'm getting off topic. I think the quality is actually really great. Those two green swimsuits definitely are the best quality to me. Like they were like tight knit. I think that they were really, really good swimsuits. Like they'd like hold you in. Like that's a good thing. So yeah, I hope this video helped some of you guys who were curious and asking about Rose Gal. Uh, it's not a scam. I got the clothes. And honestly, I don't feel like many of the products were like a catfish. The only thing I didn't really understand was like the track pants with the white stripe up the side. Uh, I don't know. It just didn't really feel like what I thought it was going to but other than that it was all like pretty gray so if you guys have another brand you want me to try in a video like this in the future be sure to comment it down below also I have a giveaway going on right now so be sure to go and enter it's ending soon probably in a, like a week or so I think but anyways I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did give it a thumbs up and don't forget to click the subscribe button because that would make me very very happy and I will see you guys in my next video bye